I'm waiting to see the telltale tale. So there you speak. go. Probably need to stay quiet in here. Um, Cause our voice will definitely key on. Clear him. Fish on, man. Pretty work, Seth. Way to go, man. You got all my slack there. Wow. That's what it's all about. Quintessential right redfish. What's his boga weight? Six. Six pounds. Listen to him drum. Oh, drumming away. Can you hear that? Yeah. He's got one spot, one spot on one each One spot on his, on his uh, back. And look at that spot in the middle. Unbelievable. Oh, nice fish, John. Nice fish. Oh, there. He's going right for that grass. You got a nice one. Look at him bowing the line. Pushing that grass Push, over. Push him as hard as you want, man. I Just, I, I'd rather follow him through this grass than yeah. lose him in the grass. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You gotta keep the nose right on him so I can keep a good angle. Where's that boga? That's a nice one. Well done, man. Pretty work, Seth. Good, good cast. I'm gonna pull that little uh, yeah. rattle clouser out of his that's mouth. That's your deal. Check that leader for me. Sure, bro. What's he got? A little over six. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's what a, a heck beauty. of a good fish. Well, let's let her back to swim, see what else is going on. I wonder if that fish is as tired as we are from chasing him through the grass. That's raring to go. John, thanks. I just want to want to say thanks for, for such an incredible day today. Um, that was incredible fishing. Well, you know, I'll tell you, that's probably the nicest day this year yet as far as wind conditions and at the right time of day. And, the, you know, summer's here. We've been yeah. waiting a while and it showed up. But, uh, you know, um, for sight fishing here uh, in North Carolina, I don't think it gets a whole whole lot better than that. Uh, came in here with, with eight, rate, eight weight rods, um, you know, weight forward lines and throw in your rattle shrimp. You know, we kind of worked on this together a little bit and yeah. I did a heck of a job on that fly. I like the improvements, um, exception of not having a weed guard. Yeah, well, I, you know, I know it said no weed guards where we first started, but definitely later in the day when they pushed up in the grass with the tides, right. I think a weed guard would have been beneficial. And what about those fish eating mullet this morning on that low tide? Well, you know, and, and, and the crease fly came through again. Um, throw the creases at them. You know, redfish having trouble eating on top is a, is a fallacy. It's not true. I'd say we disproved true. that today. Um, and keying in on those mullet, I mean, this makes enough commotion, has enough flash uh, that they really find it on top right. and chase it and basically attack it. Now those tailors that we saw, the crab would have been great in that low right, tide experience. Right. And they stuck their tails up, but as sure. soon as the wind came up, they you know, they, they, they don't like their tails out of the water when the wind's up for whatever reason. I still reason. think this was our good, our best bet as far as a go-to fly, the rattle shrimp for searching, flashing that cloudy water, a little bit of noise, and a good hook. Great, great fly, great, great fly, uh, great hook, um, could have used probably a weed guard. <laughs> yeah, I do like, however, when we got to uh, that uh, high water situation, we were fishing the flooded grass there at the high tide. You know, our options changed when we got into a fly that had a little bit better uh, design as far as having the what we call the mono mustache. Um, still breathed well, you know, carried its own weight in the grass, got down for those fish to be able to root on it, and uh, pretty grass friendly. Yeah, a little bit a little bit better. I definitely got frustrated with this fly in the grass. It wants to snag everything, so. Right. Um, you know, with a weed guard, I think we might have had the ultimate, but you know, our backup was, was just fine. Well, know, I'll say. All uh, in all. <laughs> One thing, that's probably the best day of red fishing I've seen in North Carolina as far as fishing a complete tide face. That's, Thanks a bunch for a great day. That's good to hear. Glad fishing. you got to come with me. That was, that was a lot of fun. Hope see, we do it again. See some good stuff. You, Absolutely. You got, a, you got a nice day. Yeah, for sure.